hey guys let's get straight into this video so the wig does come in this beautiful purple bag and it also comes with slips letting you know how to maintain the hair and letting you know the information on this hair this is how the hair looks with no product in it it's paired its pattern is very kinky curly deep wave type of pattern in my opinion so I ended up taking my powder and my 30 volume developer and processing the knots Babes, I just want to let you guys know that when you do bleach the knots on the lace, make sure you put more powder inside of the bowl than developer because you do not want the consistency to become very runny because if the consistency becomes very runny, it will bleach through the hair and it will actually bleach the hair, turning the hair blonde. But don't worry guys, I did show you guys how I ended up fixing it up. The hair should not be to where, as you guys see, as I'm putting this um, bleach on you guys see like it's running down it should not be that runny it should be very very thick <laughs> let me stop let me stop it should be very very thick when you put when you apply it on the wig also every wig is different this wig took forever for the knots to bleach so I did end up accidentally forgetting about the hair because I kept checking on it checking on it checking on it and it wouldn't bleach so yeah now as you guys do see I did end up taking my adore in the shade black velvet you can use any type of black honestly this hair is a 1b type of color but it blended in correctly it didn't look bad and I just took my brush and any area of the hair that it looked that looked bleached I just ended up taking my brush and applying the dye to the areas that look bleached and it was just very easy to do so that's a that's a cool little hack that you guys could keep in mind if you end up bleaching your hair while trying to bleach your knots So I was going for a zigzag type of part and guys, I struggled, I struggled, I struggled, I struggled. I don't know why I struggled because it seems so easy when you look at it, but when I was parting the hair, it just was not looking zigzaggy like, but yeah, you guys would just continuously see me play with it. Also, the best advice that I can give to you guys is if you guys are going to do the zigzag part, go ahead and take some of the baby hairs out in that middle and so it does not go along with the zigzag part if you guys get what I mean. All right, y'all, are you guys ready for this story time? Let's go ahead and get it started, all right? Boom. Um, basically, I basically did the split method, as you guys saw on camera earlier, and I just put some bobby pins up right here and right here so I don't lose my position. So the first thing that I'm about to do is I'm about to go ahead and cut the lace. I like to cut my lace, like, I like to cut my lace off of my head, and then, yeah. So let's get into this story time about the time that my ass got arrested. Y'all know that I'm going to have to give you guys somewhat of a backstory so you guys can see like how my karma ended up happening real quick, fast, and in a damn hurry. This was back when I was like in 12th grade. I was smoking. Just be real. Like I was, I was chiefing bef before then. But like I, when I got to like 12th grade, like I really started chiefing like, um, it was actually very bad. And I'm sorry if I'm not showing the hair. I really like, I really needed to be very precise. So if I'm not showing the hair, I'm sorry. I wouldn't smoke before I go to school. Cause like I will always be late to school. So like, I feel like if I was smoking before I went to school, I would be super duper late, but I would smoke a lot after school. So 420 came and as you already know, like 
to a regular smoker 420 is not a holiday but at the same time let's be real people be like this is just a regular day for me but let's be real we we be chief it way more than we would chief like on a regular day let's be real so on 420 me and my bitch that i used to smoke with we was like oh we for the smoke like we for the smoke so I don't really remember how many blunts we smoked or ate. I don't really remember. But I do remember that we were hotboxing in my car because she didn't have a car. So we were hotboxing in my car. And the dumb bitch, <laughs> that used to be my bitch back then. But the dumb bitch was dropping doobies on the floor in my car. And I was just like, bro, like, pick that shit the fuck up. And she was like, girl, we good. We got another blunt. Like, we were just on some nut shit. You feel me? So, um... We were smoking, we were smoking, right? So the next day comes. So we're gonna pause that story and then we're gonna get into another story. Now, there was this guy I was messing with. I'm not gonna give this motherfucker a name. He's so irrelevant right now to my life. <laughs> oh, so I had went to his house the day of 420. And um, <clears throat> I think I went to his house after I got done smoking with her. Tell me why. No, 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 I'm lying. I'm lying so badly. Okay, no. Guys, I'm sorry. This story is everywhere because this, this happened like seven years ago. So, I kind of have bad memory off, off rip. So, let me <coughs> let me actually tell the truth and stop putting, like, let me tell the truth. Uh, uh, I'm going to say like a week or two before 420, I was smoking with that same girl. Like, if you guys heard my other story time, this was a girl that I used to work with. She was my coworker. Me and her used to smoke with each other all the time. So, like, when it was 420, we was like, oh, yeah, of course we smoking with each other. But before 420, me and my coworker, we were smoking together. And after I got the smoking, I went to the old boy's house to he did some dumb ass shit that I don't even feel like getting into. Like he did some dumb ass shit and um, I got mad at him and I left the house, right? I did some, I, I ain't gonna lie, I did some foul shit to him because of what he did. But after I got done doing my foul shit, I left the house, right? So tell me why we get to school the next day and I didn't really see this nigga. I haven't saw him yet, like. I, have, I haven't seen him yet throughout the day. And I did not want to see him because, like I said, he pissed me off the night before. back to the school everything was fine like you know um fifth period went by fine sixth period went by fine i mean what am i saying first period went by fine second period went by fine third period went by fine fourth period went by fine and if you guys don't know fifth period is lunch time now at this point in time me and him, we had the same lunch. So I knew I was going to have to see his bitch ass regardless. And I'm not going to lie, I was not happy about having to see this nigga because he pissed me off so badly with the shit that he did the night before. But honestly, I didn't really care. Like, the boy the boy pissed me off. The boy did a lot. Like, the boy actually did a lot to me. And I don't know why, but I just always stayed with him, you know? This point in time, it's time for lunch, right? So I seen him at lunch and I me mugged him, but he wasn't really paying me no mind. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that nigga always played the fuck out of me. So like he really, he didn't care about me being upset. He never really cared about me being upset because my ass will always get upset at him and be messing with his ass right back again later on. So whenever I used to be mad at this nigga, this nigga would just look at me and laugh. So when we had went to lunch, I was looking at him, but he wasn't even looking at me. But I'm not going to lie. Like, since I was messing with that nigga for a long time, I kind of, like, something just kind of told me that that nigga was in trouble. And I didn't know what it was because he wasn't a troublemaker. Like, he wasn't the type of, he wasn't a bad kid. Like, he, he I mean, he was a hoe, but he wasn't like a bad kid. Like, he wasn't the type to get in trouble at school and stuff like that. So, I was just looking like, what the fuck did this bitch ass nigga do? So I'm looking at him and I'm thinking like, oh, he might be in trouble like outside of school. Like he might have gotten into some shit with his fucking dumb ass. And so at this point, bitch, I'm not concerned, bitch. I'm happy. Bitch, whatever trouble you're in, you deserved it. 
And guys, this hair is so dirty. It's that fucking uh got to be spray. I'm a um I'm gonna clean it up later on though. Don't worry about how it looks now. I'm I'm over here thinking in my head. I'm like, whatever the fuck your bitch ass did, that's what the fuck you get. <laughs> and I know some people are like, hey, that's evil. Hey, bro, he pissed me off. I I wasn't thinking like, oh, I hope my baby's fine. He pissed me off so badly. I just I looked at him. I didn't say much to him. He wasn't even looking at me. Right. All of a sudden. Our principal, she used to have the microphone and she used to talk on the microphone whenever she felt like it at lunch. But like, if she, if she, I'm not gonna lie, like if she talk on the microphone at lunch, it will usually be her saying, if your name is such and such, you're needed in the office. If this, your dad and stuff like that. But when my, when my principal talked on the microphone that day, Oh, she sounded furious. Everybody was like, what's wrong with her? Like, you know, but like she used to have her days where she would just pick and choose when she wants to be nice. She would have her days where sometimes she would be nice. Other times she wouldn't. So I, we were all just thinking, well, maybe this is just one of her mad days. Like maybe she's mad or something, right? So she calls the nigga's name, the one that I'm messing with. And she says, such and such, such, go to the office now. Now, at this point, I'm like, ooh, what's going on? Like, all jokes aside, like, what's going on type shit? Because the way she told him to go to the office, y'all, like, not even on no funny shit. Like, I just knew he was in trouble. And the fact that he was already looking, like, all, like, scared and everything from the beginning, I knew he was in trouble. Like, there was no doubt in my mind that that nigga wasn't in trouble. At this point, I'm thinking, what the fuck did this nigga do type shit? He's going to the office, cause like I told you guys before, this nigga was never in trouble in school. Like he was just, he was just like a, a regular nigga. Like, I mean, he, he was a hoe. His name was around the school for being a hoe. But like, he was never like in school trouble, if you get what I mean. Even my friends was like, I wonder what that nigga did. Because the way she told him to go to the office, it's like she was, he, she was bad. Like, she was so fucking mad at him. So the whole day, I'm now thinking, what the fuck did this nigga do? Because this nigga was not a bad kid, the first thing that came in my head was he did something sexual after school. That was the first thing that came in my head. Because it, what, 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 why else would he be in trouble? You get what I mean? Like, the nigga not a bad kid, but he's a hoe. Like, everyone knew him for being a hoe. You know, like, the, his name was known for being a hoe. Like, I'm like, bro, did this nigga do some, like sexual shit at the school and so now i'm starting to get mad and guys let me tell you something about me my intuition is always fucking right nine times out of ten so off rip i started telling my friends he has sex with someone he has sex with someone and my friends are telling me like girl calm down like you don't know that like you're lying you don't know that so i see him my seventh period which was the last period of our day is off like i don't have i don't have class no more i don't have nothing and so me and my friend, what we would either do is we will roam around, we would either roam around the school because I still had to take some people home because my neighbor, I would take her home sometimes because she lived right next to me and me and her, we were in the same grade. We were kind of cool and stuff like that. So I would take her home, but she, my neighbor had a seven period. So me and my other friend who did not have a uh, seven periods, we would either roam around the school or we would uh, go to like, uh, you know, go out to eat and stuff like that and come back by the time you know school had started by the time school had ended so i was walking out of the building to go to my car so we can go out and get something to eat and guess who i ran into i ran into the nigga that i was messing with so i had asked him i said hey and guess who this nigga that i was messing with guess who he was with he was with his brother but mind you, fuck, let me just say this first. His fucking brother was no longer after school anymore. His fucking brother graduated. So what is your brother doing after school? So I already knew this nigga got caught up doing something. At this time, this school was so messy. So by the time seven period hit, it was rumors going around that a teacher caught student, a, a, a teacher caught two students having sex on the staircase. And so like my heart just dropped because I'm like, I fucking knew it. Like, you know, like. It's like, you know how like you you hoping and praying that what you're thinking is not true and it ends up being true? I was so fucking mad. And I was like, I fucking knew it. Like, I fucking knew this nigga was the one that got caught on that staircase. Like, So I went up to him and I said hey to his brother. His brother said hey to me. 
And then I, I and then I was looking at him. It's like he didn't even want to look at me. Like I was literally looking at him like this. And he was looking at me like like pretend y'all are y'all are me. He was and he was looking like this. Bitch, do you fucking see me? Look up the fuck. At this point, I'm looking like hell nah. Like this nigga trying to uh, act like if he look if he continued to look like that, like I'm a motherfucking disappear. I'm not. Like whatever the fuck you did, you might as well just you know tell me. So at this point, I'm still looking at him. Like I'm still looking at him, and in my head, I'm like, and I and I'm in my head, I'm like, honestly, I can't cap. Like I don't care about you trying to look the other way i don't care about you trying to act as if you don't see me and mind you my friend she's looking at him like that too because my friend is with me remember i told you guys so we're just all looking at each other at this point so i finally like oh so you're gonna act as if you don't see me so when i finally asked him that that's when he told us huh huh bitch you motherfucking saw me as big as i am bitch you fucking saw me the fuck is you saying huh huh like you didn't fucking see me so I told him straight up, I said, um, there's rumors going around. Me, I was very bold. I was a very bold person. I didn't care. So I told him straight up, I said, there's rumors going around that somebody was on the staircase fucking, was it you? I just asked him straight up and I was like, and don't lie to me. Tell the truth. And the reason why I was pissed was because it's like, me and you just did stuff the night before. How horny do you have to be to go fuck another girl on the staircase the very next day? The principal told this motherfucker to go to the office during fifth period. So that means that you basically had sex with this girl in the morning. You're nasty. Not even fifth period. During no no no, it was during fifth period. So it's like you're nasty. Like you you like you just saw me the night before. You got horny again in the morning. Like that's weird. So I told him I was like, Ants, just tell the truth. I was like, tell the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth, um, like it's gonna it's gonna be worse for you. So he's like, I just told you no. He lied. He used to lie all the time to me. So I said, okay. I knew he was lying. I could just tell. I knew he was lying. So um, the school ended. Tell me why everyone starts saying it was him. Everyone. And not only does everyone start saying it was him. Tell me why this nigga's girlfriend tweets about him. Now, I know a lot of y'all are wondering. I know a lot of y'all are wondering. Um... It's his girlfriend, the girl that he was on the staircase with. No. His girlfriend was a girl that went to a whole nother school in a whole nother district. She was tweeting about how she loves him. At this point in time, my friend sent it to me because my friends were messy as hell. And I had already called my friend, my other friend. This is not the friend that I that I left with. I had already... Oh, I had already called my other friend. And I had already told my other friend, I think this motherfucker got caught on the staircase, right? I told her that old boy got caught on that staircase. She started searching shit up. She started looking for shit. And not a lot, thank God she did. Because she went and told me, you know this nigga is still dating his girlfriend. Mind you, this nigga used to lie to me and tell me that him and his girlfriend broke up. And I would believe him because there would be no pictures on um there would be no pictures on her profile. Like she would have pictures with him and then it would be gone. And so I would I would believe him and so I would mess with him again. But tell me why just coincidentally that day she was tweeting about him, about how she loved him, about like like she was just tweeting a lot about him. So at this point I'm like, "Wow. So not only did you have sex on the staircase, you still dating that girl that you've been lying about saying that you don't date. Like, you're doing a lot. Like, you, you to, long story short, you're doing a fucking lot, like, to say the least. So, at this point in time, I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm furious. Like, I'm actually very mad. It's mapping out how the hair will look once I have it up like this. I'm, I'm about to take the, the ponytails right back out. And stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, like this nigga fucking lied. Like, the fuck is this nigga lying about? Like, you, you, you still dating that girl, basically, to say the least. Like, you still dating that fucking girl, and you still fucking lying about it. And you messed with me the night before. You messed with this other girl, this other bitch at this school the next morning. Like, what the fuck are you doing? So at this point, everybody that already said it was this bitch ass nigga that got caught on the staircase. So I got angry. Y'all, y'all know a woman's scorn is something serious. So I, so I went to DM the girl. The, not, I didn't even DM the girl. First of all, I didn't even DM the girl. 
my friend at the time dm uh, my friend at the time didn't even dm the girl she added the girl on twitter how messy were we and i don't want to hear nobody in the comments saying y'all are so childish blah 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 like i just told y'all we were in high school at this time like i would never do that again i would never fight over no nigga i would never go back and forth over no nigga but i did back then i ain't gonna lie but at this time my friend dm the girl because me and the girl we we used to fight over the nigga i can't cap like we used to fight over him and i don't know why because yeah and like me and her will be going back and forth on twitter like i'll be adding her she'll be adding me it was just a lot like everyone used to tune in everyone used to take sides and stuff like that it was just it was so messy it was so messy and he was playing both of us and we couldn't see it we just we just we could not see it like I didn't see him that way. Like, I did not see him in that type of manner. I saw him as bad as he was, y'all. I don't know why, but I just saw him as like, no, like, he's good. He's not, he's not bad. He's good. Because me and the girl been feuding back and forth over this nigga for a long time. When I found, when, when I found out that he was still dating the girl and he got caught on the staircase, I gave my friend the green light to tell her. I was like, yeah, tell her ass. Cause she want to fight with me over this nigga. Meanwhile, look, he fucking a whole different bitch. Like you over here thinking it's me. Oh no, but just, it's, it's about 20 of us behind this nigga. My friend DM, my friend added the girl and my friend said, how, how do you feel that your nigga got caught on the staircase today? <laughs> that is so messy thinking back at it. And so the girl added my friend and was like, what are you talking about? So my friend was like, your nigga such and such got caught fucking on the staircase today and it wasn't irene how do you feel so of course this girl she's embarrassed like why wouldn't she be you know so the girl's mad embarrassed she's like what are you talking about and then um i dm'd her because i didn't want to start arguing with her on twitter because me and the girl got into a lot of twitter arguments bro and i didn't have the energy to start arguing with this girl on twitter so i dm'd her and i was like hey like i'm gonna just be the first one to let you know this your nigga got caught on that staircase today, sis. Like, that motherfucker definitely got caught on that staircase today. And I don't know what to tell you. So, I don't know what you're going to do, to say the least. The funny thing was, like, I do feel like because it wasn't me on the staircase and it was, like, a whole different girl, I do feel like she felt, I, I do feel like she was thinking to herself, damn, like, maybe this nigga is just really just like a hoe like maybe just there's just no hope for this nigga because it's like this is a whole different girl that you didn't did this with on the staircase this is not even the bitch that i've been fighting with for months you just a hoe type shit you know so she was just asking me she was like oh okay and i and oh my god y'all i was spilling the tea i told her that I had, was just at his house. I was telling her everything. I was telling her that he be lying, saying that they're broken up. I mean, the girl was so shocked, y'all. The girl did not know what to do. The girl was so fucking shocked, to say the least. I was like, yeah, he be lying. He be saying that um, y'all don't date and this, this, and that. And the girl was like, what the fuck? What do you mean we don't date? This, this, and that. The girl was just mad. Like, she was so angry. And I, and I was like, yeah, she, he said y'all don't date. And I um and I and she said and you believe him and I said duh y'all's pictures be off and he will be like we don't date the boy will always tell me we don't date and he'll be like go check her um go check her Instagram her Instagram don't have no more pictures of me and her girl told me that this bitch ass nigga will tell her to delete pictures of him and her because I was obsessed with them that that's the reason why the girl deleted the pictures not because they didn't date no more but because the nigga lied to her and said i was obsessed with their relationship he used to tell her to delete ba basically delete pictures so i wouldn't stalk them and i know you guys are thinking what the fuck does this have to do with you getting arrested hold on sis shit i ain't gonna give you no half story i'm gonna always give you a story with a motherfucking entree an appetizer and a full course meal the fuck so everything ties into why I got arrested. Well, not really, but it's a backstory. And then I'm going to tell why I got arrested. So at this point, the girl is so messy. She says, hold on, let me call him real quick. Because I'm guessing while I was telling her all the shit, I was spilling all the beans. I was like, yeah, you know, there was a time, y'all, this nigga told me that, that him and her were in an open relationship. Yes, an open fucking relationship. 
He told me that him and this girl were in an open fucking relationship. So I told the girl, I was like, yeah, he lied and he said that y'all were in an open relationship. The bitch said, an open relationship? I said, yep, that's what he said. So I'm guessing while I was spilling the tea, I'm guessing she basically told him, like, I just want to let you know, like, I'm on the phone with, with one of your bitches right now. Because he, he, he was texting her saying, put me on the phone, put me on the phone. And then she said, he wants to get on the phone. Do you feel comfortable with him being on the phone? And I said, I really don't care at this point. Because at this point, I was angry. Like, as angry as she was, I was angry too. Because it's like, what are you doing fucking somebody the very next day after me and you did stuff the night before? Like, I wasn't, I was just as mad as her. I'm sorry. So I said, put him on the phone. I really don't care. So he got on the phone and he was just... He was just yelling. He was just doing his fucking antics. He was denied, 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 denied. Y'all know how niggas are when shit get, when shit, when shit, when shit hit the fan. Deny, deny, deny. He was like, she's a liar. And I didn't do nothing on no staircase. Like she was just asking him, did you do something on the staircase today? And of course this nigga was saying that I was lying. And I'm looking at him. I'm, I'm, I told the girl, I'm like the whole school knows what this nigga did on the staircase today. And I told her straight up, I said, I would never lie about that. Like, I would never lie about something like that. Like, the whole school knows. And so he, of course, was saying that I was lying. She didn't believe him, though, because um, she just didn't believe him. Like, my story just sounded too true. And so she was just like, wow. Like, I'm done with you, basically. That's basically what she told him. I'm done with you. And so at this point, I'm laughing. I'm like, ha, ha, bitch. You, 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 ha, ha. I'm just, I'm laughing. So he, so I hung up on them. They were going back and forth, yelling on the phone. He was trying to yell at me. He was like, you be begging for me. He tried to make it look like I'll be begging for him. I'm not going to lie. I love that nigga more than he, I like that nigga more than he liked me. But at the same time, I wasn't begging for him. Like if I called the nigga would answer, if I tell that nigga to come over, he will come. Even if sometimes if I don't even tell that nigga to come over, he will, he will be calling me like, oh, when can I come over? So let's let's not sit around here and act as if, you know, like I'm begging for you. Let's not let's not pull that card now. So at this point in time, he's now mad at me that I told him. And I'm looking at him like the girl was going to know regardless. Like you're going to alternative school for what you did. The girl was going to know when your ass was in alternative school that you did it. So, you know, like what the fuck you mad at me for basically? the girl was telling him like i'm done with you like i'm done i can't be with you no more and he was angry like he was not happy at me at all and i was just smiling on that phone i can't i can't even lie to y'all like i would be lying to y'all if i told y'all i wasn't smiling on that phone a week went by and he got kicked out of the school him and the girl that did what they did on the staircase they both got kicked out of the school so his friends his his got his guy friends they didn't like me so when he got kicked out, I'm not gonna lie, I started tormenting them. It was like, ha ha, ha ha, y'all motherfucking niggas mad, y'all friend not in the school no more, ha ha. Like I just kept tormenting them and they were getting so angry. They were like, bro, shut up. Like they, they were angry. They were sad that he was no longer at the school. Like they were actually very sad. So I was happy, I'm not gonna lie, because I was just like, if you do some shit like that to me, like, I don't know, like I was happy in the sense of like, that's what he gets. Like, all jokes aside, like, that's what his bitch ass gets. Uh, but I figured out that it was what I was going to get, too, real fast. So, now let me fast forward to that day where I told y'all with 420. So, 420 came, and me and my friend, we smoking. And remember, I already told y'all, my friend, she basically fucking throwing blunts all on the fucking floor throwing doobies on the fucking floor and i'm like bitch pick that up she's like girl we got more weed i don't need to pick that up this isn't that so i'm in class this day mind you we got so fucking high y'all i was even high the next morning like that's how high me and this girl got like i was high the next fucking morning so I'm in class. I'm chilling. At this point, I'm in second period, either second or third. And one of them, I'm in second period. I remember I was in second period. So a principal, the principal, he comes in and he's like, um, Irene, you need it in the front office. Like he came to the class and I'm just looking like the fuck is you coming? Mind you, I'm, I, he, he wasn't my AP. And if you guys don't know what AP is, he was an assistant principal. He wasn't my AP. Y'all know like 
back in high school. Like, you know, APs went with the last names. He was not my AP at all. I was looking like, what is he doing here? Like, why is he telling me to go to the office? Like, where's my AP? But I didn't think anything of it. So I just told him, I'm like, why do you need me in the office? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I'm not the one who needs you. Um, somebody else, they need you in the office. So we went to the office and it was another AP. And the AP was like, hey, Irene. I said, hey, what do y'all need? And they were like, um uh your car says that it that it that it uh okay y'all know like if you did student parking in high school you have to have a sticker you have to pay for like a, a tag sticker tag with the school's name on it so like if you didn't pay for it like they will either tow your car or they'll put a boot a boot on your car so she said so basically the lady was like your car sticker is saying that you don't have a, a sticker on it and we're about to tow your car. And so I was like, why are y'all towing my car? Like, mind you, I been got a sticker for this, for this, for like this school. Like, what are you talking about? So I was like, why are y'all towing my car? And, sh and she, and the lady was like, I'm not sure. They're just saying that, you know, you don't have a sticker. So like, you need to come on for they tow your car. So I'm like, the fuck? What is going on? Like, you know, like what's going on today? In my head, I'm like, bitch, I'm, I'm like too fucking high for this. Like, you know, like what the fuck is going on type shit? Like, I'm too high for... To be dealing with shit like this. Because I'm still hot the morning of. I'm still fucking hot. So she was like, um, I said, I do have a sticker. And she was like, well, can you please come out and, and show proof that you have a sticker? Because the tow truck is coming. So I went out to the fucking, I went out to the, to the, um, I went out to go show proof. Y'all, let me just be the first to let you guys know that these niggas got me so good. Like when I tell you guys that these niggas got me so good, y'all. These motherfuckers got me so good. They played my ass. They played my ass. And, and and they and they actually did a very good job of playing me because bitch, if they didn't play me, hmm, let me tell y'all something right now. If them motherfuckers did not play me, my ass would have did the dash. Guys, tell me why when I went outside, it was fucking police dogs barking at my car. What the fuck are you barking at my car for? So I said, hey, mind you, I'm still I'm still high. So when they barking, I'm not my dumbass. I'm not even putting two and two together, bitch. Two and two started equaling five, bitch. I told them, can y'all make these dogs stop talking, <laughs> bitch? I am so fucking dumb. And can you please make these dogs stop talking? And so the officer, he was like, open your door now. And I'm like, why? At this point, I'm like, oh shit, shit getting real. He's like, open your door now. And the and the dogs just keep barking at my door. So I'm like, why? He was like. The dogs are barking at your door. So obviously that means that you got weed in your car. And so now, bitch, I'm not high no more. Now, bitch, I'm sober. <laughs> bitch, I'm sober. You know how Chief Key said, man, I hate being sober. I'm a smoker. Bitch, I like that song, but bitch, I was sober at that point. Bitch, I was sober. So I was like, what are you talking about? Now my white girl voice coming in. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't smoke. And then the, the guy, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open your door now. Open your door now. All jokes aside, like, what the actual fuck is going on? So at this point, he's like, you need to open your door now. This isn't that. And he, and he said something like, open your door or we're going to break into your car. I said, hey, what? So I just opened the door because I'm like, hey, bro, like, like I'm not going to pay for it. Like, the motherfuckers was really trying to break into my car, basically. So, he was like, "Either it's either you open your door or we're going to break into your car. So, he opened, so I opened the door. The motherfuckers started going through the fucking car door. They started searching. They were just, when I tell you they tore my car up apart, like, they tore my car the fuck up apart. And they found the doobies that my fucking stupid ass friend dropped on the fucking floor. So at this point in time, bitch, I'm I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble. Like I'm I'm in fucking trouble. So they found the doobies. And after they found the doobies, he basically just said, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. So I put my hands behind my back, and bitch, I was under arrest. When I put my hands behind my back, bitch, I'm like, I'm 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 not even really thinking like I'm I'm going to jail. Bitch, I'm over here thinking. This is a motherfucking game. I'm over here thinking I'm, I can talk my way. I've never been arrested before. So I'm over here thinking like, okay, well, maybe if I say, please, they'll let, they'll, they'll take me out the handcuffs. So I told the officer, I said, please, I was just playing. I will never smoke again. <laughs> the black man said, girl, shut up. I'm like, bitch, you shut up. So at this point, bitch, I'm scared. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. Like, 
bitch my parents are gonna nail me to the motherfucking cross like my parents are gonna kill me type shit african from for starters like i'm african doing this shit like i'm i'm fried i'm done you know so they 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 take me to the office to go measure how much the weed is and they were saying stuff like if your weed exceeds if your weed if your weed exceeds such and such you're going to jail tell me why y'all the weed the weed was under like i can't remember the number this was so long ago but basically like i was like one step away from the weed exceeding basically so tell me why the officer was over here like damn we was gonna send your ass to jail i'm looking at them like are y'all happy like with what y'all are fucking doing the fuck you mean damn the fuck you sad that the weed didn't exceed it so he was just like damn and then so he was like well uh he was like um not gonna lie uh I, he, he tried to say something like i don't care we're gonna work to try to get you sent to jail today because it was on school properties and we have a rule that it does not matter like he was starting to make up shit and i was like bro and so me and him started going back and forth i started screaming at this point i started getting angry because i'm like now you fucking playing with me stop fucking playing with me so i started screaming i said you said mind you i'm crying y'all like i'm fucking crying i'm getting very tense i'm getting very mad so i told him i'm like you said that if the week <laughs> Bro. so he's like shut up he starts screaming shut up i said you shut up you shut up you shut up he said put her in the cop car put her in the cop car because i started screaming like when i tell y'all i started going a wall like when i tell y'all i started going a wall I, I had my backpack in my hand i took my backpack i threw that bitch on the ground i said i'm not going to jail today oh they had to tackle me down to the ground okay guys so i just got done doing my makeup and i did my makeup off of camera because i didn't really want this video to be too elongated but this is the hair let me go ahead and finish off with this story time at this point now i'm throwing stuff all over the floor i'm throwing stuff all over the place and there's two officers in the office and the officer was like y'all you need to taste her you need to taste her bitch in my head i'm saying taste her taste who who he yanked me and he tackled me and he was like, look, if you don't want to get tased, you need to sit the, he said, sit the fuck down. He didn't even say the hell, the nothing. He said, sit the fuck down unless you're going to get tased. I sat down. Bitch, I sat down. That was it. I, I sat the fuck down. They still handcuffed me and they put me in a cop car. The other black cop, it was two cops. It was a Hispanic cop and it was a black cop. Now the Hispanic cop, he was, he was way nicer. The black cop, he was, he was a bitch. So the black cop was like, man, I don't care. The stunt that she just pulled, you need to take her. They were, they were basically saying that because I pulled a stunt like that, I need to go to jail. So he handcuffed me and he put me in the back of the cop car. And the Hispanic man was trying to tell him like, chill, like, and he was like, I don't care. I don't care. Basically just yelling, saying, I don't care. I don't care. If you want to act like a hood rat, you need to go to jail. If you want to act like a hood rat, you need to go to jail. But at this point in time, I'm looking like, how the fuck am I acting like a motherfucking hood rat? I did not smoke on, on school grounds. I smoked off the of school grounds. I did not smoke on school grounds. Why the fuck are y'all sending dogs the next day after 420 to catch people? Y'all looking for, y'all looking for trouble. Like, you know people smoke. Like, y'all are looking for, like, y'all are trying to find issues at the school. Never seen dogs at this school, y'all. Like, they never had dogs at the school. But it's very funny after 420, y'all had dogs at the school. So he put me in the back of the cop car. And the black guy's like, are you ready to go to jail? And I said, yep. Because at this point in time, I was defeated. I didn't care no more. I was like, bro, just take me to jail. So the Hispanic guy and him, they're going back and forth for a good 10 minutes and they're talking. Story sounds very like short lived, but guys, this story, I got, I got, um, I got called to the office second period. By this time now, it was lunchtime. That's how long this story was. That's how elongated, like a good three, four hours of stupid. So they're talking, they're talking for a good 10 minutes and a black guy was like, get your butt out of the car. 
So I get out the car and we go back to the office and he's like, you lucky that my partner dies because I was going to send your ass to jail and da 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 and this is and that. And then he was, he was basically saying that I'm the only girl so far that has gotten caught with drugs. They basically did like a big old bust, like a whole bunch of other people got caught that day. It was a whole bunch of niggas. He was saying that's the only reason why I'm not going to jail because I'm the only girl. The rest of the niggas, they sent them to jail. Like I knew some of the niggas that uh, got caught with the drugs. They went to jail and they actually put the, put it on their record. That's besides the point. So he was saying, don't think I'm not scared to send you to jail. I didn't send, he, he basically said, I didn't send 10 of your boys to jail today. I didn't send 10 of your classmates to jail today. He was like, be the 11th one. Be the 11th one. He was like, do something again. Do something again. So at this point in time, I'm just sitting in the office. I'm sitting in the office. I look defeated. And he's like, we got to call your mama. I said, call my daddy. He's like, we got to call your mama. I said, call my daddy. Because, bitch, yeah, bitch, let me tell you something. Come hell, come high water, you, my mom would not come up to this school. Because if my mom come up to that school, I am done. Fry. I'm, I'm everything. I'm all of the above. <laughs> I'm everything. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, bro, call my daddy. So they call my dad. Tell me why my dad going to say call the mom. Don't call the mom. I called you. So at this point, I'm yelling, no. And my dad's like, shut up. And my dad's African. So my dad's like, shut up. Shut up. And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all something. My mom will come up to that school and embarrass the fuck out of me. Everybody. My dad, he ain't going to do all that. He don't got that type of energy. But my mom, oh, you know how many baby like, I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Oh, bitch, my mom had time for embarrassment. My mom loved to embarrass us when we used to act up. So I said, do not call my mom. Hell no. Nah. So they called my mom. But thank the Lord. My mom was at work that day and she could not pull up to the school. She literally said that. She literally said that if she was not at work, she would have done a skirt skirt to the school and dragged me out by my motherfucking head. And did tell me why. My mom said, you know what? I'm leaving work to come there now. Why? So at this point, <laughs> y'all probably gonna think that I'm funny. But bitch, I'm not funny. Tell me why. I told them they at this point in time they told me they were like okay they were grabbing they they uh what you would call it they let me get my backpack back but they kept my phone oh let me tell you this i was in a separate room and the officers had my phone in another room and my phone was unlocked uh, from like i basically had my phone on like if you never lock it it doesn't it doesn't lock by itself unless it's on low power mode but my phone was unlocked uh, that whole time from when i first got caught to when I was in that room. Tell me why the officer was going through my phone. Why the fuck are you going through my fucking phone? Come to find out the officer was going through my phone to try to see who I smoked with. Because the officer was like, you had to have smoked with someone. And I kept saying, I didn't smoke with no one. So he said, I'm going to find out, little girl. Tell me why the officer texted the friend who I smoked with the night before. And was saying, hey girl, what school do you go to? And tell me why my dumb ass fucking friend was saying, girl, I go to such and such. You know that. Now, you know I know what school you go to, so you should have known something was up. Then the officer was asking, hey, what's your last name? Mind you, I already had her first name saved. And the officer texted on oh, my phone, hey, what's your last name? And old girl gave the officer my last name. So y'all already know what he did. He called up there, her school, because she didn't go to the same school as me. He called her school up, and her ass got arrested too. I was looking at, and mind you, like her school was not far from my, like they were all in district. So they all connected with one. At this point, I'm looking like, hell no. Nah. And mind you, I didn't even know that he did that. Like, I didn't even know he did that until my mom was on her way. And he told my mom something like, you really need to get your daughter. Your daughter, <laughs> he basically went through my phone. He said, your daughter is real inappropriate in these messages. She's talking about fucking, he said it just like, he, she's talking about Fucking and sucking and and I be, and and oh, 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 yes I was. This motherfucker was acting like I was running a prostitution ring through my phone. Like, why are you going through my phone? You doing too much. You didn't do all these with the niggas. You arrest and I was and I went off on him. You didn't do all this with the niggas. He said, Yeah, cause the niggas are in jail. Do you want to go to jail? Do you want to go to jail? 
like bro like what is going on like that day was probably the worst day of my life that was the day that my mom found out that i was no longer a virgin she was asking me when did you have sex and she was going through my messages with me and the niggas that i was having sex with and was reading the messages out loud and i hate when my mom do that because my mom always used to do that even before i was having sex my mom would like if i put let's say i'm even texting to my friends and i say shut the fuck up bitch my mom used to go through my phone like my mom was like on some like investigative type shit my mom would literally go print out messages from t-mobile and with a paper in the hand and i'll be walking into the door coming from school and my mom will be doing this in the living room shut up bitch you don't know what you're saying i'm looking like wait that shit sound familiar and she'll be like you think you're slick i have your messages so my mom was always on some type of investigator discovery type shit messages out loud but that's like that i'm pushed like that's that's for another time but yeah so when he said my mom was coming I said, can I please go to lunch? I'm hungry. I was lying in a motherfucker. Bitch, I was about to do the dash. I still had my keys to my car. I didn't give a fuck about that phone. And guys, I can't cap. I don't know where I was going, but I know I was going. Tell me why I carry my backpack. And mind you, the office is right in front of the cafeteria. Like as soon as you walk out of the office, the cafeteria is right there. So at this time, lunch is going on. My friends were like, Irene, where you been? Like they seen me. So I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. And they were like, what's going on? I said, I gotta go. I told my friends that like I was really, really best friends with. She had the, uh, she ha she knew my password to my Snapchat. And I ain't gonna lie, my Snapchat was pretty exotic. It was pretty, you know, you get so I told my friend, I'm like, log out of my snap now. Like, log into it with your phone. So she did that. The principal uh, already knew that I got caught with the drugs. So when the principal see me in the cafeteria, remember I told you she used to talk with the microphone. She said, get her out of here now. Get her out of here now. Where's the officers? At this point, I'm like, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Because I'm like, bro, I'm trying to do the dash. And you yell into the officers, get her out of here now. Bro, tell me why my ass tried to run out of the cafeteria and tried to run past the doors to try to leave. Bitch, they caught me. They put my hands behind my back. They put me in the handcuffs. And bitch, I went right back to the office. Then they called my mom again and told my mom that I tried to do the dash. And my mom was like, basically saying, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? At this point, school ends. Um... Of course, I had, they had to let me go. And my mom, she ended up not coming. Like, she really could not leave work that day. Thank God. I had to drive home. I already know I got my ass whooped. But this was my karma. Tell me why. Of course, because I got caught with the drugs, I, I got kicked out of the school. And mind you, I, I was a senior. And tell me why I had to go to alternative school. And tell me why I had class with the boy that I was messing with and the girl that he messed with on the staircase. That was my karma. Literally, all uh, my, my friends said that all his guy friends were saying, where's Irene? Where's Irene? <laughs> At the school with him. At the school with him. Like, everybody was laughing. Everyone thought it was funny. And because me and him kind of got in trouble at the same time, everyone thought it was me that fucked him on the staircase and i was like hell nah let me clear the air bitch i went to i went to alternative school for drugs bitch i ain't go for no sucking fucking oh guys but i i, I ain't go to no so i ain't go to no alternative school for that like shit hell nah so that was my karma that was the story about the time that my ass got arrested and if you guys want me to do a story time about being in that alternative school because a lot of shit happened. I ended up um, punching the girl who uh, had sex with the boy on the staircase. That's a whole different story. If you guys want to hear that, y'all let me know down below. I will tell that story. That one is crazy. That's a whole different story. And we will be here all night if I get into that type of story. But that's the time that I got arrested. Um, they did not put it on my record or anything like that. Thank the Lord because your, your girl was 18. I was already 18 when I was a senior. And when I got to the alternative school, I literally seen like 10 of my fucking guy classmates there for the same thing. They basically all caught them that day. So that's what happened. And on top of that, my friend that went to the other school, she got sent to the same alternative school with me too. So we got to go to school together. And that was, it was kind of fun. I, I had fun with her, but yeah y'all that's the story time about the time i got arrested i ain't go to jail though but i got arrested if you guys want details 
to this hair. It will be in the description box down below. If you guys like this hair, go ahead and let me know. I wanted to do like um a Ari inspired space buns. Um, the hair was very rushed. This is not one of my best works. I really finished this hair really quickly, but at the same time, I still think I look very pretty with this hair. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe after watching my other content and seeing if you like it. If you don't like the content, I'm sorry, but if you do like the content, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Irene. I, uh, makes, I do story times. I do hair videos. I do fashion videos. Bitch, I do it all. Ask my subscribers. They gonna tell you. They gonna say, sis, do it all. I ain't a one-trick pony. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.